Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Varieties of Voting Systems. In this video, we will be looking at the Condorcet method, also known as pairwise voting. So, the Condorcet method is a pairwise voting method that will not always return a winner. It compares each set of candidates in a one-on-one -on -one contest. There is a Condorcet winner if there is some candidate that beats all of the other candidates in pairwise competitions. What does that exactly mean? Well, let's take a look at an example. So take a look at these ballots. A through G are voters, H through K are candidates. First past the post, and Nauru's board account will select I. Instant runoff will pick K. However, a standard board account, Buckland voting, and the Condorcet method will all choose a different winner. To determine the winner in the Condorcet method, we must compare all of the individual pairings. First, let's look at I versus J. So, in four of the voters' rankings, they've ranked J above I. So, J gets four points, basically, in this competition. In three of the voters' rankings, I is ranked above J. Or basically, if this were a one-on-one head-to-head -on -one -head match between J and I, and those were the only people that were in the competition, J would win. So J beats I. I is also going to lose to K by the same margin, and in fact, the same voters. Four voters rank K above I, while only three voters rank I above K. So in a head-to-head -head matchup, K wins. And I is also going to lose to H for the same reason. Those four voters ranked I last. And so I loses four to three to H as well. Now I is the Condorcet loser, but also was the winner by first past the post. Interesting. K is going to be J four to three with voters A, C, D, and E ranking K above J. So that's four, a majority of voters pick K over J, so into the head-to-head -head matchup, K beats J. But in the head-to-head -head matchup between K and H, H is going to win with A, B, F, and G, ranking H above K. And finally, H is going to be declared our Condorcet winner because H will beat J as well, 5-2. to two. So H has won against all other competitors in head-to-head -head matchups, and so H is the Condorcet winner. Since it wins against all other candidates in a one-on-one -on -one competition, H is the Condorcet winner. And remember, other methods picked different people, even though the Condorcet winner seems like a clear winner. In every single head-on, head-to-head, one-on-one matchup, H won. But in this larger system, H ends up actually only having one first place vote. Interesting. However, one can often run into something known as the Condorcet Paradox, where there will be no Condorcet winner. Let's take a look. So in the example to the right, pairwise winning is not transitive. Candidate E beats candidate B 2 to 1, and candidate D beats candidate F 2 to 1. If it were transitive, it would seem that because E can beat D and D can beat F, then E can beat F as well. However, candidate F, in fact, beats candidate E, 2 to 1, once again. So none of them can be declared the winner. It's not a tie between all three candidates, as it would be if you looked at the same setup for first past the post. In fact, it's the fact that none of them are the winner. E beats D, D beats F, and F beats E, so no one wins. Looking at our presidential tallies, we can see that Stein will be the Condorcet winner. She beats Clinton with A, D, and E voting for her over Clinton. She beats Trump with B, C, and D voting for her. And Johnson with B, C, and E voting for her over him. So, since she beats all of the other candidates in head-to-head -head matchups, Stein is our Condorcet winner, even though Stein had no first place votes, and many of the other systems haven't picked her. The Condorcet winner seems like a winner that is a pretty clear winner. If you can win in a head-to-head -head matchup up against every single other candidate, that seems like a good winner, but so many other systems pick someone else. 
So that was the Condorcet method, where Stein wins. We are left with but one voting method, and that is the fantastic dictatorship. So that was the Condorcet method. Next up, we'll be looking at dictatorship, and then we'll be moving into ways to make voting more democratic. Watch this video and more here at Cardades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.